In addition to the testing unit, you will need a Ruhoff test swab, a Ruhoff test instra sponge, scissors that have been wiped with isopropyl alcohol or other disinfectant placed on a clean surface, such as gauze. It is important to note that this test is conducted after cleaning the scope and before high-level disinfection. If you are utilizing Ruhoff's ATP Complete software, the scope serial numbers are already in the device. When the device is turned on, it will conduct a 15-second self-calibration sequence to ensure it is functioning properly. When complete, a graphic will appear on the screen display indicating that the unit is ready to conduct a test. You will match the device's serial number with the serial number of the scope you are testing. Take the test swab out of the tube and swab the area of interest, such as the distal port and other critical ports of the scope. Next, place the swab back into the tube and set it aside. Select the appropriately sized Ruhoff test instra sponge based on the size of the inside cannula of the scope you are testing and remove it from the packaging. Note, if you use alcohol or blow air into the cannula as part of the cleaning process, dip the test instra sponge into sterile water before inserting it into the cannula of the scope. You can omit this step if your cleaning process does not include using alcohol or aspirating the scope. Without touching the sponge, place the sponge tip into the port and gently push it through the scope until it comes out of the distal port. As you maneuver the test instra sponge, avoid touching the sponge. Push the wand through the scope, allowing the sponge to exit the port. Remove the test swab from the tube. Place the tip of the test instra sponge into the test swab tube and cut the wand one or two inches away from the sponge using the cleaned scissors. Be careful that the tip of the test instra sponge does not come into contact with anything. Replace the test swab into the tube with the tip of the test instra sponge and snap the top to release the reagent. Squeeze the bulb several times to get the reagent to the bottom of the tube and gently shake for five seconds. Insert the test swab tube into the Ruhoff ATP Complete handheld device, close the lid and press the OK button. In 15 seconds, the ATP Complete device Will display the amount of contamination detected. A check mark indicates that the test has passed while an X appears if the test has failed. A failed test signals that the scope must be recleaned and tested again.